Pakistan's across Britain, even across the world, arrangements are being made to remember the 30th anniversary of the death of one of our most idiosyncratic entertainers. Yes, after delighting a generation of music hall audiences and cinema goers, George Formby died in March 1961. Now, his trademarks, of course, were that old ukulele and a good old dollop of sauce. In my profession, I'll work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll climb this blinking ladder till I get right to the top. At eight o'clock, a girl, she wakes. At five past eight, a bath she takes. At ten past eight, my ladder breaks. Well, in my Again, Chuck. What do you think? He's wasted on this show. Isn't <laughs> That's it? the original. Wasted, the original. The original one, yes. Well, uh, where are you there? Half a century on, George's popularity is uh, undimmed and even spreading to youngsters like 15 year old Anthony Mason, who's with us now, together with Stan Evans, who's a leading light of the George Formby Appreciation Society. I can't, is this true, Anthony? You, you are an addict of George Formby, even at the tender age of 15. Oh, definitely, yeah. All your life? Mm. Since I was four, yeah. You weren't forced into this by parents by any chance? Oh, no, not really, no. <laughs> it's a bit like Laurel and Hardy, this, isn't it? I mean, they just live on and on and, and on and on. What is it about Formby? They never die. And you see, the beauty of it is George left a lot of songs behind. For one um, publisher alone, he did over 400 songs, and these lads loved them. They're like a treasury. Listen, special anniversary this year. Are you going to be doing anything special? Um, oh, yes. We, we, we appear to be um, going all over the place, really, you know. Uh, all sorts of things like this we, we meet in. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Who's the lad on the piano, by the way? This is young doing? Jonathan Scott, only 12 years of age. Yeah. He loves George Formby songs. Can I just see the top of his head from here? <laughs> <laughs> I, find this, I find this quite astonishing. You, you're from Wigan, though, aren't you? Are you, are you? Uh, Anthony's from Wigan. Wigan yeah. Jonathan from Manchester. Yeah, I don't suppose you could really escape it to be from Wigan. No. One well, very quick question, yes or yeah. no. Is it true that George Formby's wife wouldn't let him kiss another woman on the screen? True or false? Well, he did kiss other women uh, on the screen, but he, she looked after her investment. Right, you've answered the question. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, we're going to hear from Anthony in just a moment. Is performs that Formby favourite granddad's boy who sounds more like George Formby than George Formby. Anthony Mason accompanied by Jonathan. Bye-bye. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Off the ghost town. Now in the family tree we've got an heirloom They handed it to me a year ago It's been in our possession since granddad was a lad I'll tell you what it is and then you'll know And I found out what it is by his granddad's flannelette shirt. Lordy, lordy, granddad's flannelette shirt. In 1810, grandfather joined the army to fight Napoleon across the sea. You've heard about the battle they had in Waterloo, but what was it that brought us victory? Why, me granddad's flannelette night shirt. It saved old England that day. Bonaparte said we are undone, and even Josephine put a gas mask on. They shot down our colours and they captured our flag, but we were not downhearted, that's the same. 